in this lesson we will learn how we can convert a mesh into a meta human using Unreal Engine 5.2. Now, first of all, you have to make sure that you have the plugin. So you will go to the settings, plugins, and here you will type the meta human. Now, without this meta human plugin, you cannot convert the mesh into a meta human. So I already have the plugin enabled. If, if you don't have the plugin uh, enabled, so you can just uh, enable it and restart your Unreal Engine. Now, I have this character here, which I showed you in my last Mesh to MetaHuman exercise when we use the Unreal Engine 5.1. So this is the same character, but now in 5.2, we will see how we can convert this using the uh, MetaHuman animator, uh, Mesh to uh, like uh, MetaHuman identity. So this is my character. It's basically like a stylized character. It's not a uh, like a, a meta human realistic like character. But this is what I will use. So what I'm going to do here is that first of all, uh, in the same folder, I can right click here. I will go to the meta human animator, and I will choose here meta human identity. I will click on it, and it will create the identity. And the name of the character is Munna Kasai, so I will just write it Munna, okay? Munna ID. And then I will double click on this. Now, the name of the character is Munna underscore Kasai underscore clothed. It will ask me to log in. Okay, so first I have to log in to my Epic Games. So I'm logged in. Now here, you have to create a component. This time, I will not choose from footage. I will choose from mesh and I will type here the same name as you will see up there okay and I have this character now so I will just click on it and it will load the character on the screen now you can see the character is loaded so I can zoom into the character now one more thing you can do here is that you can go to your camera option here and in the camera field of view, I will change it to 20. So it can, be, uh, it will become a little bit orthographic and with the help of the orthographic, it will be very easy to track. Now, once this is done, what you have to only do is that set up your scene so that you can uh, see your character uh, easily and just press the Promote frame. Make sure your neutral pose is selected. Press pro uh, promote frame and it will say current promoted frame will be uh, set as front view. You will say OK. And then after that, you will right click it here and choose auto track on. And once at auto track is on, you can right click here and lock the camera. Zoom in to, to see everything is correct or no. So basically, everything looks uh, fine. So what I will do here is that I will just press the MetaHuman Identity Solve and it will start solving the MetaHuman Identity. And once it is done, you can press the B view, which will show you the MetaHuman Identity basically here. So exactly the same thing that I have here is now converted as a MetaHuman Identity. Now I will move it to Mesh to MetaHuman. Before that, I have to go to the body and I just want to make him uh, like very tall and bulky. So I will uh, increase the height, choose the heavy um, scale like mesh there for the body. And I will go here to mesh to meta human, choose autoric identity, skeletal mesh plus full meta human. And it will start uploading it uh, on the meta human uh, like creator and it will create its DNA over there. So now it's finalizing the meta human identity because the uh, mesh to have uh, meta human is uh, completed. And now uh, my meta human is on the creator. So I can press OK, save, go back to Unreal Engine main window, and I will press the quick, I'll quickly add to the project button. And then I will go to the Quixel bridge. Inside the Quixel bridge, I will go to the meta humans, my meta humans, and here it will show me my ID, Munna ID here. I will select this one, and then I will start the meta human creator from here. And as soon as it will start, 
I will select the version Unreal Engine 5.2 and launch MetaHuman Creator. And once the MetaHuman Creator is launched, you will see the ID is there. You can go to the Edit Select and you can start editing your character. Now, I don't want to go into the detail because already I have explained everything in my previous lesson. So you can go to my previous lesson the same mesh to MetaHuman for Unreal Engine 5.1 and you can follow the tutorial. The process is same and once you're done, you can download and you can animate it using the MetaHuman animator as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this lesson and you have understood how you can make a, any, like you, how you can convert any mesh into a MetaHuman using Unreal Engine 5.2 and MetaHuman Animator. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. By the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos, just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.